So the funniest thing is how, you know, you kind of look back on your life and you're able to itemize or list the number of women who you can say impacted you for better or for worse, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But even with that, I'm wondering, is it that there is too many of us trying to make an impact mm -hmm. so the pool is kind of tight? Mm -hmm. Or is it that people are just out to, you know, kind of get to each other? In I, a way. I, I think I think there's a lot of us. There's a lot more of us, and um, mm -hmm. we are all competing for the same things. Whether it's healthy or unhealthy, mm. we're all competing for the same things. Same jobs, mm. the men. You know, it goes round like mm. it's like a vicious cycle. Hey, so, the men power. The men, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> I mean, sometimes. It, mm -hmm. I mean, look. It's a saying that because there's been a lot of wars, and when there's war, mm -hmm. it's the men that go. Uh -huh. So they leave behind their wives, their girlfriends, some of them don't come back. Mm -hmm. So then there's more women now than men. So maybe that's why... But then know. what happens with like the older woman and the younger woman also? Right. Much mm -hmm. older where you're looking up to the person. Mm -hmm. right. Is that also about men? No, it's not. Obviously not. No, I, I, think, I think that uh, naturally women tend to be more conscious of the fact that evolution is happening mm -hmm. women are the most conscious because our bodies change mm -hmm. you know we mature at a point in time we're not as hot and and fancy and free as when we were younger mm -hmm. so i think we become more aware mm -hmm. of the fact that we are expiring so it creates yeah. yes yes it creates a lot of tension mm -hmm. now if you are unaware of who you are mm -hmm. what you are yes you will feel expired but if you're that kind of person who has like a 30-year plan a 40-year plan mm -hmm. You know, with a few changes here and there, yeah, it tends not so to much. be as it tends not to be as daunting as if you think or you thought that at twenty you would still grab the same kind of attention yeah. as when you are forty. So yeah, is but, that why we we are so evil towards each other? Because I mean, I have a personal experience, mm -hmm. and um, it's from um, wanting to be a hairstylist mm -hmm. since I was young, and I go to see. Um, a very good family friend in London who owns a salon and she's owned a salon for like over 20, 20 years. years. So mm -hmm. I look up to her. I wanted to make sure I really wanted to do this. So I wanted to just have a feel of her salon. And she has you know? experience. She has, you know. Yes. Yeah. So I go to her and I ask if I can just come and walk around the salon, wash towels, you know, sweep the floor and stuff. And she's like, well, if it's a job you're looking for, there's a sandwich stand too. Mm -hmm. Two doors away from mm -hmm. my salon. So mm -hmm. if it's a job you're looking for, I can mm -hmm. go and ask them wow. at the start sandwich stand to see if you... Wow. I felt that was that was like a deal breaker for me. Mm. Woman to yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. But you see, the thing is, the thing is, I, again, coming back to the fact that women are aware that, you know, mm. evolution is taking place and we're probably expiring. I don't think I'll ever expire. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'll just say that for the record. Well, but wait, no, I'm mm -hmm. just saying, it's how I feel, mm -hmm. right? But at the end of the day, how about women who are the same age demographics? Who are actually being mean to each other? At the end of the day, you are somewhere that. Yeah. Well, that one I think is competition. Yeah. Is that but no, but, competition but when, is, when is I say expiring, though, well, they don't feel when that I say way. when I say expiring, be conscious of the fact that Justin, you have found your voice. Mm -hmm. You know who you are. Mm -hmm. You represent statistically mm -hmm. five percent of the women who are conscious of the fact that with age they're getting better. Yeah. A good 75% of women don't think that the older they get, the older they get, the better they get. Mm -hmm. So your voice represents that small mm -hmm. percentage of women who is empowered. Yeah, but even you that see, small percentage, so we're still within, competing against good. each other. So within, within that small percentage, there is a clear definition of knowing what your path is mm -hmm. and knowing where you're going. Mm -hmm. I mean, Christine, you're talking about this issue of the, you know this older woman, whatever it is. That one is a clear case of someone who really was threatened by your power. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I say. Yeah. I mean, I always say that someone who is threatened by you doesn't give you chances. Yeah. But that is the issue I have for me and as in the industry I'm in and owning a salon, it's so difficult to have friends. I can't have a lot of friends come to the salon because then you are just 
everyone talks about you like, oh, she has all these friends who come in and all they do is gossip about people. And then it makes it even a bigger problem. So mm. I try to keep my friends at the distance. They yeah, can't yeah. come into the south. Oh, it's definitely going to be... She, this I mean, is what how, she does. how nice would it be if all you know, all hair stylists, for instance, can sort of come together and learn from each other? Oh no, you know they, what I'm they, they act all like, like they act no. Like. I don't think I don't. Nice is what you're describing is a fantasy. Like seriously, no. You see, and it is where Africa. It is what is happening to Africa right now. We are kind of coming into our own. And I know we're talking about women and the like, but then you also need to look at it in, in a broader sense. We are coming into our own. We are literally beginning to realize what our potential is. Mm -hmm. And in that, everybody, everybody, Tom, Dick, and Harry, man and woman, dog and cat, wants to be the first to get there. Mm -hmm. They want to be the first for the outside world to discover them. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to women and how we tend to kind of like claw at each other, it's clearly because of lack of education, mm -hmm. clearly. Mm -hmm. Because if you're educated enough, and not just, you know, book-wise, you can be educated street-wise. Street -wise. You know that, I, I you know that another I, woman, I, no. no, I completely understand, it's, because Christine, it's, it's, if I wanted to be a hairstylist, yeah. How wonderful would it be if I would go to Christine and say, Christine, I really want to be a hairstylist. Can you teach me tricks? The reality is nobody's ever going to be a Christine. Nobody's ever going to be a Jocelyn. So why yeah, can't we... Yeah, 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 why, why can't we... Why, why can't, why can't Christine, no, not necessarily. Why can't Christine teach me a little bit of what she has? Because why in any case, ask? good. So if I came to you, no, but Christine, in your case, you asked this older lady yes. who refused to teach you. Yes. yes. This is, as I was saying, this is a clear definition of someone who was threatened by you. Mm -hmm. But as Jocelyn said, how lovely would it be if, you know, Jocelyn no. came to Christine and said, no, but you, said, Christine, you know. Did you tell this older lady that you wanted to be a hairstylist? Yeah, she, she didn't have to oh, say it. Oh, no, no. Went, look. Just she didn't she have knew. to she say it. Let me put it. That was our case here. Okay. At the end of the day, I come mm -hmm. to you and I say, Christine, I want to come and um, help out in, in the salon. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm bored. I just want to do something. I mean, I'm, I'm young. Let's say I'm 17 year old, just like, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Let's say it's 18 year old girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. says, you know, Auntie Christine, I just want to come and help uh, in your salon and whatnot. You would probably say, well, you know, you have a lot of girls working already as a stand. So you would probably tell her that, you know what, I know that uh, the lady down the road is hiring. It doesn't necessarily mean that she's threatened, uh, you're threatened by the girl. You, you probably thought genuinely that she wanted a job and you are not in the, in the, in the, in, you didn't have that capacity to employ her at that moment. So you rather recommend no, her but I, to go somewhere else. I specifically said, because I was there on holiday and mm -hmm. my aunt is very close to her. So my aunt told her, Christine would like to just come and walk around your salon and just get the feel of, because this is what she wants to do. To do okay. You know, and then okay. she was like, if it's a job she wants, so how do you go from, you know, I just want to walk, I don't want you to pay me. Yeah. I, I just want to walk around and get a feel, sweep your floor. I don't want to even touch anyone's hair. No, I, I, just, I just genuinely think there are women who don't share. Yeah. They don't share wisdom. Yeah. They don't yeah. share advice. Yeah. And again, whether she's a 17-year-old or a 16-year-old, you can tell from a mile away when someone has the potential Passion, to yeah. be greater or than or you. Passionate. So yeah. you could be that kind of person. You could be a leader enough to say, Christine, I see you really love doing hair. Come and let me train you. If she had done that, today she would be able to lay claim to, oh, you see that yes, young little because, girl? Yeah, I started because, with I her. Because because but a lot of women comes, don't want to share that. Yeah. Yeah. Now she comes yeah. you know, some school of thought also says that competition is good. Okay, because well, I didn't know when there's a competition, you get complacent, mm. there's nobody else, mm. Mm. you are not going to work on your toes, yeah. you're just mm. going to relax and be like, you know what, I, you know, I don't care. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I don't want us to kind of put everything in a basket because mm -hmm. there are women who are more than willing yeah. to help you grow. Mm -hmm. There are women that you will meet on your first day at work. Mm -hmm. Now, they may not be as warm mm -hmm. and, you know, as, as, as kind, perhaps, in the beginning, but I feel that sometimes women also want you to prove and justify yourself, which is not always fair, I understand. Yeah. It's not, fair. It's, it's not always fair, but then I, they, they are for me, for example, in my career, in my life, every, at every single threshold, I've been met by an older woman, a more established woman, who will really push me to the wall yeah. and make me really prove myself. Yeah. And in that, I choose to look at the glass half full and say, wow, look at what that amount of pressure did yeah. to me. Yeah, but not everybody exactly, again, I agree. can deal with that amount of pressure. Like, I mean, certain people will walk into a place and once they feel like, okay, this woman is being mean, mean quote yeah. unquote, 
they'll feel like, okay, because you're there, don't you want me to also get yeah. there? And why are you making mm. it so hard mm. for me? I'm mm. sure if somebody made it that hard, you wouldn't get to where you're at. Mm. So there's always that, you know. It's double. It's double, exactly. I think it, it has a lot to do with the temperament of the woman also, you know. Yeah. So I think we women just have to get to the point where, I mean, we have our language, you know. We have our language and we connect. Or you're able to speak to the woman and explain why you are talking to her like this, mm -hmm. you know. If she's your mentor... Well, somebody will say, I don't, I don't owe you an explanation. Like, really, this is... When I came, something like that was done to I was too. Yeah, so then you that's know? why you're like, treating like that. It's like, it's like, what's important school? Mm. You know, mm. the seniors will punish you. Mm. Uh, when Nobody you owes senior, you an explanation. Nobody, yeah, when you become a senior, you're also punished because you were punished yeah. when you came to school. So it's like... So basically, cycle. then again, then it's up to you to take it the way you want to take it, you know. I think, what is life? The life of a woman... I mean, of course, we can't speak to men because we've never been men. But I think that as a woman, you want to become a butterfly. Yeah. And you kind of want to go through all those different layers yeah. because it makes you all the better. It yeah. makes you all the more beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. It makes you, you know, it gives you the ability to find your voice. I mean, like Justin, gold, you mentioned earlier, men, men, what, men, men, men speak, men, men cheat, men women, cheat fight. women fight. Yeah. I mean, look at how a woman literally attacks another woman, woman. Exactly. because she has heard, and sometimes they have no, there's no proof, mm -hmm. but she knows or has her that mm -hmm. you not you Christine but yes. but that you you know <laughs> and her husband you know but look at how a man will say yo my guy you know this thing that you're doing you mm -hmm. know but women will attack you and that's all right yeah. you know a woman will fight a fight that really is baseless look even if the you know she has evidence you understand what I'm saying of the fact that yes maybe her husband or her boyfriend or whoever is cheating on her with another woman I don't, I don't, I don't see why we can't talk through it as women. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then rather blame the, the your fellow woman and say, you know, <laughs> this girl is cheating. I remember you know, this girl is actually they, they feel the competition. Doing they always feel that competition. I always have to be better than her. I always have to. Yeah, but you know, you but, but let me her. let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. You ladies are talking about something that happened to me mm -hmm. in 2006. So I've been seeing this guy for years. Mm -hmm. Actually, part of me moved back to Ghana for him. Mm -hmm. Now. But I would always hear murmurs. I would always hear, you know, someone at Rumors, work or whatever yeah, it is. Yeah. You know, it was always kind of like in my ear mm -hmm. somewhere mm -hmm. that each other he's... But I couldn't see how it was possible because I was with him in the mornings. Um, in between time we were at work. Yeah. On the weekends we were together. So when, 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 when did you when? get the time? <laughs> but ladies... A good at a point in time there was you know how into uh, women our intuition is mm. so strong so Intuitive, powerful yep. just something that just kept sitting on my shoulder so I remember an email coming from a client now she was a client but the email was not work related mm -hmm. and it was hey can we meet at you know whatever it is we've got a talk so here I am thinking oh what issue she's a client mind you so we go to wow. the venue and she has printed emails Text messages from years back. Now let me tell you. No, so, so, a, no, wait, I'm confused. She sent an email to you. Justin, she sent me an email okay, to I meet thought, with you. Oh, okay, cool. She sent me an email to me mm -hmm. to meet. But at the meeting, she's printed emails between the two of them, like really nice. You between know, she put, and between she and the boyfriend. And um, so you're talking about women talking, yeah. and she just literally came to gloat. She basically came to say, oh, so. I know that you are a public figure. I, I was at TV3 at the time. And so, yeah, so basically, exactly, I Christine, want. you couldn't have said yeah, it better. She didn't say, listen, no, she didn't say, Anita, I think you are young and you should be careful. Even look at me, I have had a relate. No. Oh, she basically, yeah. you're right. She yeah, just came. Having said that, didn't occur to me. Yeah, she just really came to say. Yes, so I can want. you imagine what it would do? Mm -hmm. to a young I was younger than she is mm -hmm. a young woman mm -hmm. whose life whose career is just beginning mm -hmm. who doesn't know any better mm -hmm. so years down the line I bump into her and I thought that after all this time I mean water under the bridge she would say something like oh you know what you've done so well blah 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 but she really just reminded me she's like hey ri my rival like you had to bring Why? that up Why? But you have moved on. Why? I've exactly. also moved on. And my rival is not funny. Yeah. That's when, why I when, say it's you not see, going why, to change. But the thing is, why move I don't on? know why. I think, you know, it's like, things. please. I don't know why you girls are in denial about it. Uh, no, change. we're not in denial. Yeah, we, are, we, we are empowering each other and all. But from what I see, mm. you know. But Christine, 
Jocelyn, let's mm -hmm. also not forget, mm -hmm. empowerment is a very interesting concept. concept. Yep. Yes. Where empowerment doesn't necessarily mean, I'm going to give you some information, Christine, oh. and I want you to do well. Yes. Let's also remember yeah. that empowerment also is about helping each other it's find a voice. Right, right. Because this, Jocelyn, what you've created yeah. is empowering. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Therapy, in yeah. a way. Let's look at the other side of, of the coin. Mm. So then they look at you and they think Anita skin is Anita mm. skin, or she's you know she's working mm. so hard, she's where she's at. I want to be there. Mm. She's driving, let's say, a, 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 the fanciest car. The fanciest car. And yes. She's wearing the fanciest jewelry. Yeah. You know, because of what has been put in, in, in the minds of people and because of what people are saying amongst themselves, mm. every young girl says, when, when she's out of school, I want to be like Anita yeah. and I want to do it tomorrow morning. Yeah. So I want the fanciest car tomorrow. I'm going to do whatever get it to, takes. Yeah. Based on the fact that we're not even rewarding hard work, we're just saying that every yeah. woman, you know, and, and the funny thing is, the worst critics of each other mm -hmm. are, are, is are us. Women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A woman yeah. would look at another woman and say, oh, this girl, she wouldn't be where she's at if it yeah. wasn't for... If it wasn't for that guy. Me. You know what I mean? And, that's, it's, and it's another woman saying that, yeah. funny enough. Yes. I am, I am hearing how men also contribute to that. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're very good friends with a guy mm -hmm. and he wants to give you some information about your fellow girl, mm -hmm. you need to tell him to stop, stop. it. Thank you. It, mm, you know what I mean? So but a woman wants to know hey, hey, the so She wants to know the details because she really needs to get to wherever she's getting to and just, why can I not own my car? Because, fine, someone cut me a good deal. But why can I not own my car? Because maybe they cut me a deal because I'm so good at what I do. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. But you know, majority of that is also our fault, you know. Yeah. You're not talking. Ladies, it, it is our fault. Yeah. Not I think that we're not talking. We're not Christine, talking. you're so right. We're not talking. We're not talking. Yeah. We we're call ourselves feminists, mm -hmm. empowered. We're speaking, but we're not, or we're talking, but we're not speaking. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't talk about the in laws. You know, <laughs> the in laws, <laughs> sisters in law, mothers in law. Like, there was a commercial from Vodafone. Mm. The whole night, and you know what? Funny, it, it sounds funny and it looked funny, but it's it's happening. You know, mothers feel like when you marry their sons, you've taken away, you've taken away something, and something you don't even deserve what today, you've taken. Yes. And that's that's like sometimes people say, Well, some women are married to their sons because of the way they behave mm -hmm. around their sons, like you've married. My husband they see their husbands and their son i don't know what is going on but yeah. it's just that competition you mm. that's your son and i'm married to him but you know Can't what you happy for us? i have a confession mm -hmm. tell me <laughs> my son is so cute <laughs> and i invest so much in the boy and my daughter as well but i'm still talking about sons mm. and honestly justin i i christine i'm looking at him i'm like Charlie, the girl who marry you zay because it's like it's like but just you have a daughter you don't have a son i have a daughter that i'm also yes no no hang on but no no justin is not the same justin is not the same when you look at your son when you look at your son it's not the same i'm waiting for your son when your son comes you call me and say hey i need to tell you all right it would the same the same you know, you okay, well. I get I get where you're coming That's from. The same thing I get you. where you're coming Maybe. from. Like, no one come and take my daughter for granted as well. Good. You know, so but but I think, yes, I think, I Christine, think. do you have a son? She has two sons. Yes, two sons. <laughs> okay, so so okay, you better than us. When you look at your boys, you think of that future. Mm -hmm. Christine, isn't there a little tiny voice that says you wish, you know, you wish they would bring home, you know, at least someone you like. Uh, definitely, be honest definitely but i'm more worried about them just picking the right person that will just take okay. care of them and letting go and i think women hold on more to their sons just because maybe they don't have a very good relationship with their husband hmm. some women do that no, i think know. i think there are women christine i agree there I are women who use the sons to replace the fathers, but I think at a later time. Yes. I mean, maybe what I'm saying sounds silly, but I do look at my son, he's so cute and everything. And sometimes he'll come and talk about some little girl that he has a crush on. Yeah. And it's really, really, really yeah. exciting, but I will never lie. Yeah, at the back know. of my mind, I'm like, e you know, there will come a time where, where he will choose her. He will choose her because yes. now he calls oh, me his best that, friend. That, that, you know, I'm I'm so I have to, I used my to, husband had to, my husband had to make that choice. Claire. You know? Yes, he made yeah. it very clear. He chose he said, you. Yes, he, he told his mom. She didn't do anything wrong. He was just saying, look, look here, I have a wife now and I just want you to know that yeah. um, 
no matter what, I'll choose her over you. Wow. So yeah, he made that clear. Yeah, I just got goosebumps. That, this, yeah. Because Lucas wow. was quite close to his mom. Yeah. yeah. So he had to. Yeah. No, how about if the, the guy does not even want. He also enjoys the attention he's getting from, from his mom. Oh, that one. Goes, no, but I, I, think, I think I think what, what happened there was it could have gone two ways. Mm -hmm. um, he said that, and then she could have decided to maybe be devious towards me yeah. still and make it such True. a big. But then. I mean, we, bad. we yeah. have such a good relationship. Yeah, yeah. I think we because I think he because he did what a woman wouldn't do. Mm. Talk, talk. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I, and and you know when I look at my mm. husband, for example, there was a time when he had to kind of stop his mum of mm. blessed memory yeah. from going that extra mile. And mothers tend to go that extra mile, yeah. but we're I, both, I we're, 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 lucky. we're lucky. We're lucky because Ooh, we're dealing with people. Uh -huh. So that's what I was just, just about to say. We're lucky. We're speaking about people who didn't have a hair of evil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you were talking about. Yeah. Listen, I know sisters-in-law. You, mm -hmm. you say mothers-in-law. <laughs> Mother-in-law, <laughs> yeah. you can always. Even but I know sisters-in-law. Mm -hmm who for the fact that they know everything their brother likes mm -hmm. you know they as a matter of fact even were sisters-in-law because they know all the ex-girlfriends yeah so i know sisters-in-law who will make it clear oh she was better you, you than are you. Yeah. christine oh, how i have oh, seen oh, some before she was, oh, she was oh, oh, oh. You know, i'm oh, surprised you how about who, who thinks they know you based on what they've heard and they think, they think you don't even deserve when you brother. bring when you are brought home, oh, home they're like ah, they think yeah. this one no yeah so how are we talking yeah. how are women talking how uh, is it through all these forums are we um because you definitely can't you know change the way we are doing things mm. you know we are still going to do things like this mm. So mm. I think the only way we can talk more is by talking like this. Yeah. You know, you don't you, you, like you, you spoke about it empowerment. You create the awareness, you know, that really what's yeah. what's the point? Yeah. What's the point I, of I, aren't I, we doing that? Aren't we doing that over and over no, again? No, no, but it's okay. No, it's from the wrong it's okay. Angle. No, Christine, okay, well I, 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 I respect your view, but I think we are doing something right. Mm -hmm. Um, a few years ago, women wouldn't get together like this no. and have a conversation. No. Yeah. No. Even worse, talk on television yeah. about their relationship. Mm -hmm. They yeah. wouldn't mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. Today, mm -hmm. there is this added boldness to a woman's voice. Mm -hmm. She is who she is. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it's funny because I saw, I bumped into a, a very good friend, um, a family friend of, of my husband's, you know, and she said something, oh, but when I met you, you were, you were slim. What happened to you? You know, and this is a woman who will say it very loudly. Yeah. So forget that I could be going through a medical problem. problem. Yeah, and yeah. actually, I didn't want to have to say, but I, but I, I, had, I had to I've tell her. That, I said, yeah. well, I have yeah. a medical condition. Yeah. Oh, and no. and now, and my husband said, you didn't have to tell her. Said, yeah, but it's. She's a woman could have it's not even so much embarrassing mm -hmm. as it is me and you we don't even have that relationship, relationship. Exactly. so if we had that relationship you could put me outside and say hey charlie and it's a nice yeah, name whatever right. but you put me in a situation where another woman has to make you now tell the world yeah. that you have a medical problem yeah you yeah. see but i think that women are becoming a lot more like i'm so much more bold now than mm -hmm. i used to be mm -hmm. i don't so much care that a certain judgment will come from another party i will say it like it is and if you are not happy with what you're hearing well i'm sorry it wasn't intended to hurt you in any way yeah, yeah. but christine talking about how oh, we keep doing the same thing i think that honestly things are changing mm -hmm. when i even speak to other women i see how now they're bold enough to say well anita I'm, i don't really agree and i don't really like what you're saying yeah you know even when you go yeah. to university i mean Justin, yeah, you yeah, speak a lot yeah, at universities. Yeah. They are able to ask you things now. And you're thinking, okay. You're thinking, okay. <laughs> it's, it's like, <laughs> all right. I'm just talking yeah. because I'm like literally with women all, all the time. Day. Better, yeah, you, you, the know, time. Yeah, you know, so. you know, you know, you know women from that angle of sitting in your chair, yeah. which is the most naked. Yes. You know, yeah, because yeah. a woman is, you take her wig yeah. off and everything, yeah, yeah. she is naked and yeah. everything else around it. So, so it's true. My stylist is always talking about how She's dealing with women who aren't comfortable with their bodies, yeah. who are older, yeah. but they want to be like a Jocelyn or they want to be like a Christine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's having to tell them, but I can't dress you like this mm. because you are 20 years yeah. older.